1962, the United States Navy put out a contract for a V-Stole type aircraft with four ducted fans. The Bell Company, who normally makes helicopters, used their knowledge to build a test mock-up named the Model D-2127. When it was delivered to the Navy in 1964, the plane was redesignated to the X-22. The ducts were fitted with four three-bladed propellers and were powered with a gas turbine. These move along with the control surfaces to provide directional control in both a hover and forward flight. This is almost identical to the maneuvering system on the modern V-22 tilt rotor. The aircraft could hover up to 6,000 feet and 27,000 feet in forward flight. The aircraft had a maximum forward speed of 254 miles per hour. The maiden flight occurred on the 17th of March, 1966. The transition phase was very successful and only needed a few fixes. However, the Navy was more into VTOL than the plane itself. Unfortunately, the first prototype crashed due to an issue with the power chain in one of the ducts on the 8th of August, 1966. The prototype was scrapped in order to finish the next prototype. This one flew for the first time on the 26th of August, 1967 and was upgraded drastically in flight controls and performance, even though the plane worked great and never reached the speed requirement. The plane was sent to the Cornell Aeronautical Laboratory and had its last flight in 1988. VTOL technology was never revisited until the new F-35 came around. The last prototype, 151521, is now stored at, at the Niagara Aer Aerospace Museum. The people there say they held on to it when the Navy tried to scrap it. <laughs>